Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum, it's the console life for me. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum, it's the Xbox life indeed. Now guess what ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of new cool games coming out and stuff to look forward to on all platforms, alright? Now, me personally, I've been playing the living crap out of Sea of Thieves. Right so far, I've invested about 72 hours into the game, which is nothing to sneeze at. And I know they're going to be adding more content, more or less like the World of Warcraft's destinies and divisions of the world, you know what I'm saying? And there's been a lot of toxicity going on lately when it comes to the game called Spider-Man. That's going to be released by Insomniac Games. Now, Insomniac delivered this brand new original IP this generation for the Xbox One platform, and if you still haven't picked it up, I highly recommend it. Alright, now the way I see it, if you're an Xbox gamer and you want to play Spider-Man, well, go buy a PlayStation 4, because that's the only way you're going to play it. Honestly, bro, it's an exclusive to the PlayStation platform, and Sony did right by themselves. Alright, now... People that just want to sell their Xbox and get a PlayStation 4, you're more than welcome to it. But why would you when you can have the best of both worlds? As I said, this right here is exclusive to the Xbox One platform. But that's neither here nor there. There's a lot of new games that I've been playing recently. I recently picked up Flying Tigers Shadows Over China. And every one of the mission structures in this game is highly unique and original which is dope in and of itself it gives me slight chills of crimson skies but it's not quite crimson skies yo it's on some real shit and based on true events all right so this game was actually on sale for the spring sale for only like 12 bucks man now another game oh check this out man a game where you can actually chase a little girl around i guess all the ponies will be loving this game <laughs> Nah, I'm just clouded, people. I'm just clouded. It'll take me serious. All right, but I've been playing the hell out of this game called Terra. It's an MMO that actually came out on the Xbox One. It might be on PlayStation 4. I'm not so sure. All right, but I've been enjoying the living hell out of it, man. This game is freaking awesome. I mean, there's so many skill classes, different races. You know, out the skill classes that I use, I've already created two characters. One character is actually a warrior, all right, which is the one right here that you see before your eyes. And the other class that you'll see in a little bit is called the brawler, all right? Now, if I'm not mistaken, the warrior is a Kastani, and my brawler is actually human, all right? And actually, the mechanics in this game, the gameplay, the fluidity is pretty dope, man. And I can't recommend it highly enough. I mean, I used to be addicted to Destiny. At least year one Destiny. Like crazy, alright? I mean, I think I have over 188 days in the first Destiny. Destiny 2? That's another story entirely. Alright, now what this game is doing for me right now is actually scratching that itch for the wait until Black Desert Online. Right, that game we know is going to be popping out in the summer. All right, it's going to be coming out to the Xbox platform, at least timed exclusive. Because as far as I know, I think it's also coming out on the PS4 eventually, and I can't wait to get my hands on that game, bro. <laughs> Literally. Now we also got State of Decay. It's going to be dropping in a little bit, which is going to be dope in and of itself. I mean, that game looks all kinds of sick, man. Microsoft is doing right by themselves. And another game that I'm looking forward to is of course Crackdown 3. I want to see what actually goes down in this giant, vast, open world that's going to have a fully destructible city in the online multiplayer. I mean, they've been harping about this for years. Let's see if they actually come through. I actually started playing the first one recently. And, dude, this dope as hell. I know it's that much fun. Also, I'm hoping. Microsoft for E3, they bring out the big guns and surprise the living fuck out of all their fans, right? Because it's been a long time coming, even though they've been dropping some giant AAA exclusives so far this year, we want to see more, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's just how it is when it comes to gaming. People just want more and more and more, and I'm the type I play all kinds of games, really. Um, but either way, you know what I'm saying? people let me know in your comments down below what games are you looking forward to for e3 know what i'm saying oh and i almost forgot spiral the dragon people spiral the dragon coming out on all platforms except switch what's up with that either way that's my two dollars worth for everybody else you can comment rate share subscribe i'm all for it and i'm signing off saying and there it is clear as motherfucking day yo